Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, everybody. So as you can see, I still haven't done those uh, two duels that I'm going to do. The Shirinui duel and then the Digital Bug duel. I'll get to them eventually, you know. Um, I I'm actually not purposely, like, holding them back. Um, it's just that I haven't had time. Between my 8-to-5 job that I'm working Monday through Friday, plus doing a Master's program, I, have I take two classes, and those are on Tuesdays and Wednesday nights for about two and a half hours each. Um, and then the homework and writing and reading that I have to do with, with that. I don't have too much time, uh, you know, beyond trying to record these two videos a day and upload two a day. Um, I, I'm definitely running low on, like, on extra time here, but anyway. Ooh, we got a kaiju. That's cool. Okay, oh my god, I'm using that. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Okay, okay. Um, so... What does this do? If you control the monster, you just put some of this card from your hand. Once per turn, you can increase the levels of all insect type monsters you can currently control by one. Cannot be used as an extra material. Okay, should I actually? Oh, that's level five. Hmm. Once per turn, you can target one face up attack with the monster control. Uh, change the defense position. If you do special summon one level three insect type monster from your hand in defense position. Okay. Well. We're going to do terraforming to thin the, out the deck a little bit. What do I have as an option? Oh, just to set that one. Okay. So this one. Um, each time a card is entered the graveyard, I'll place one kaiju counter on this card. Oh my god, I, I should have actually activated the card first. I'm such an idiot. Because I think terraforming would have actually given it one. Once per turn, while three or more kaiju counters on this card, you can add one kaiju monster from the deck to your hand. If this card be destroyed by a card attack, you can remove one okay, Whatever. So... Uh, I wouldn't even be able to do anything, though. Am I supposed to pass on this? I, I think I'm going to pass, because... I can go into an XC's play. Um... You know, that, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be possible. Oh my god, you are you doing... You have the Insector engine? Oh my gosh. Kaijus versus Insectors. This is going to be interesting. Um, I feel like I actually drew a pretty bad hand for going first, but I don't know. It, it seems so. Kamungus. Okay, so what I can do here... This thing has higher attack, okay. So if I special summon this thing, turning off to the control... Okay, that thing is equipped to that, okay. Interesting. Wait, but would that actually... Oh, shit. I think you'd be able to get the Dragonfly back if I do that. I'm pretty sure. Basically, um... To have your opponent control zone, you can summon this card, you can only control one. When the opponent normal or supposed to summon a monster, you can remove two counters in the... Okay. So, I think what I can do here... From anywhere in the field, I gotta be careful about that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Because this one is, if it's Christmas or something, you're about to do. Okay. I think what I'm gonna have to do here, I'm gonna have to get a little creative with something. Because what I can do is I can special that and I can special another one. Okay, I'm gonna try this. We're gonna special summon you by tributing this. I think, unfortunately, he's gonna get the Insector back into the hand, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, I figured as much. That sucks, but at least the spell card is gone now. Okay. Now what we can do is special summon this thing. Because if your opponent controls a kaiju monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. In attack position, this thing has more attack. Um, this one is a... Where is it? Once per turn, you can remove three kaiju counters from anywhere in the field. The attack dash defense of all the monsters becomes half. That's fine. But what I can do is special summon... This one first... I control no monsters then I can special summon what oh great I guess I screwed it up huh well actually I think it's good that I baited on that one then instead because I would have actually actually given me a lot of problems if I didn't do that um 
technically it was fine. This thing has what? Um, so if I, uh, but the thing is if I normal summon that, that wouldn't actually do anything though. I don't think I can do anything here, unfortunately. All I can do is attack. I'm gonna have to attack this one. That sucks. That actually sucks because I can't attack that card. My plan was to do that, but the thing is if I summon this one, he would have, in response, activated the effect because he could remove it from anywhere on the field. So I'm actually glad that this card took the bait. Like, you know, it, it just took it. So like, that was pretty nice. Um, please hurry this along. I'm getting so sick and tired of this stupid AI in this game. Okay, that's Insector Centipede. Do you have a Hornet? If you have a Hornet in hand, I believe the duel is over. Because <laughs> you can just go to infinite play here. Instead of going to do a, what, a rank 3? Oh no, you're doing 5. That's going to be a rank 5. That's not good. Is this a quick effect? It is. Okay, that's actually interesting because... Oh no, but that's not going to go to the graveyard then. Shit. Nope, I'm freaking dead. That card is way too good, man. Insector X's tag is so hard to out like insanely hard to out. Um, I think I'm gonna have to restart because it was only five minutes in lanes. I feel like I can just restart it right away. Oh wait, that was a loss anyway. That's a, that's a quick play spell card. Yeah, no, I don't think I can actually beat this deck. Um, Unless I do terribly, I'm not entirely sure, but this is a rare scenario where I'll actually go ahead and do the duel again. Just because it was only 5 minutes worth of time, and... I'm actually legitimately curious on this, because I seem heavily outclassed. Because um, th there's not a whole lot I can do, to be honest. The Naturally, the Insector engine is probably going to out the Kaiju engine, but I also have to not go first, because... I mean, these decks... These, oh my god, I'm going to go first again. Shit. I don't want to go first, because... Well, I mean, I have a trap card. I guess that... Hmm. Um, let's see. This is why, because I don't want to summon anything. Because you're just going to out whatever I summon. I, I don't have enough protection and negates to do anything. No matter what I summon, you're going to out it with your move. So I'm just going to have to pass the turn. That's what's up with it. Like, going first in Mata Yu-Gi-Oh! is very good. Because essentially you build your meta board to build a bunch of negates, you know? Uh, once we turn there are less than three kaiju counters on this card, you can target one kaiju monster on the field, change it to place on this position, then place one kaiju counter on this card, in your, in your possession is destroyed by opponent's card, so the graveyard, you can draw two cards. By an opponent's card. I'm just going to do this because... Okay, you're going to 24. Realistically, I just don't know what to do here, because... I can tribute that to get rid of both, which would be nice. I think that one would actually still end up working. What I can do is special summon the... Hmm... I'm actually thinking of doing that. Bug Emergency is target 2 level 3. Insect time monsters, you give us special summon them, but their effects are negated. You can manage this card in one next six months. The graveyard, the levels of. Okay. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, I think the equip card is gonna bring back the dragonfly into the, into the field. I'm pretty sure. Um, if there are less than three cards you can on this card, you can target one kaiju monster in the field, change it to face down defense position, then place one kaiju counter on this card. And scoring your possessions is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to the graveyard. Okay, so. You can basically put three, that'll be at 25. Just return all monsters, return control of all monsters on the field to their owners. So if I put that, I can bring that one back to my side. That wouldn't do anything though, because it would just bring it back to the owner, but it, I wouldn't be able to actually end up attacking. Um, I don't think I should use this. This one has a... 
We can put in normal special summons. You can move two kaiju to throw anyone to field. Um, okay, so what I can do here, let's pretend you can target one face of attack with monster you control, change the defense position, and if you do special, then level three inflict a monster on your hand defense position. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, we actually didn't bring out the card. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna activate this card. We're gonna say no to that. Kamungus is coming back. Then we're going to summon this, activate effect, change yourself. Oh my god. Really? Max C. That is interesting. Um, you're chaining Max C to that. Hmm. You can target one face up attack position monster you control change it and if you do special summon one level three you can take that monster from your hand oh my god you even run fucking maxi are you serious dude really how the hell am i gonna beat this deck there's no way i mean it, do i go for this i mean you have four you're about to draw four now nah, there's ugh. There's a reason why that card is banned. I have to do this. I have to give you another draw. It's either leave them there, and you play with five cards next turn, or summon the Giga Brilliant, and you play with six cards next turn. Either way, I'm dead next turn. There's no way. That, that deck can easily out this board. There's absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to get through this. Uh, we're going to detach. Um, oh, by the way, the two effects. Uh, turns all bombs to putting on whatever. Okay, got it. Doing that. Gonna say no to that. We came close, but yeah, that sucks. Okay, we're gonna set this. Because this is actually a lot of damage, but that's pretty much all I'm gonna be able to do. There's no way. There is a 0% chance that I'm going to be able to live with this board next turn. I'm not saying I'm going to lose next turn, but I'm definitely going to lose most of my board or all of my board next turn. Um, we'll see what happens here. Okay, you got your six cards. Start. Do your worst. Fucking Maxi. Insectors and Maxi with digital bucks. That is crazy. And there it is. Well, <sighs> yeah. I mean, what's interesting is I get to draw two cards, so I'm technically not out of this if I can live this turn with the decent... Ah, there's no way. That, that was already a one for two. I... What? I press A! Dude, I press A, not B. Freaking game. What the hell? What the hell? This is a new controller, by the way. How did that... How did that even happen? Like, what in the world? I actually maybe have had a chance if that didn't go that way. I have a Harpy's Feather Duster. But I mean, you're still going to be able to add the card in. I mean, damn it, I actually could have been in this duel that stupid freaking... I swear to God I pressed the A button. Oh yeah, no, you can actually do that, so that's not even going to matter because you can just... Yeah, you can bring it like that. And then that's basically game right there because you can just crash. Yeah, and you can add that. No, this deck is insane. No, there's no way. There's no way. No, no. You are not going to be able to win that. That it, That's just like the Laval deck. Remember that Laval thing? It took me like another, what, five tries after I had already lost three times? Unbelievable, but no. No way. Some of these duels are just... I don't know what the hell Konami was smoking. Like, on what planet is that a fair duel? Like, Jesus Christ. I think the, the Laval deck is the worst, though. The, the Laval, I, I, so after I ended up losing those like three duels on screen and, and I lost another three duels off screen, 
with that duel, I was pissed. I was so pissed and I went online and I saw so many threads on Reddit. Oh my god. About people complaining. People have literally tried that like 30 times and they cannot win. Why? Because that duel is not about skill. It's 100% luck. You have to, you have to have the opponent brick. If the opponent does not brick and you don't draw the perfect hand, you will not win the duel. It is literally impossible. Like, you're just outclassed that much. This duel that I've been doing, I wouldn't say it's as bad as the Laval one, but it's pretty up there. It might be the second most unbalanced duel in the entire game. That is insane, and you just saw what happened there. Oh my god. That is so bad. Okay, um... But yeah, that's why I'm like, I just don't know what the hell they were thinking. Like, what? How is that fun for anybody to have to basically redo a duel 30 times? Just so they can get lucky with, you know, the top. That That's ridiculous. Like, what the hell? Okay, we're going to activate this. Uh, discard this. Bring two alternatives. I guess I'll just summon the alternative and see what happens here. I mean, I don't know. We're going to reveal that. So, are these effects hard ones per turns? This thing. Yeah, it is. God damn it. Oh well. Because I sent two to the Graper, so I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use both, but it doesn't seem like it now. Okay, we're going to set these. And the turn, bring up the Blue Eyes, uh... Dragon Spirit of White, I mean. My bad. This one. Pop your back row. Activate effect. Well. Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 sorry. You can only use this effect. I, I thought it said you can only use each effect. Oh, hell yeah, give that to me. This, this guy's an idiot. He literally set a Raigeki. Do you not realize how stacked your deck is and you're about to waste a set on the Raigeki? You're freaking stupid because you would have actually killed my entire board. I mean, I could have done this to protect one, but still. What in the world? No, this deck is insanely stacked. Like, it's very insane. Uh, what are you doing? I think that's just special summons. This card and that monster level 5 or 7. That's just not gonna... Damn it, man. Damn it. That's gonna be a freaking... That's gonna be the Injector card. Oh wait, no, you chose 7. What do you have for 7? What are you doing now? Change the battle position of one insect monster you control. I can't do it any about that. No. That's gonna be another special summon. Can't do anything with that either. That's another one. Now you're going to probably go into a ring 7, I think. There we go. Holy crap. I mean, that's one way to make digital bugs work, because digital bugs generally don't have that, you know, capability. You can also exceed. Okay, who cares about that? Uh, defense, okay. Has piercing. Once per turn, doing it, but you can detach one, destroy the. Destroy the face of monster your opponent controls with the highest defense. All if tied. Great. Wonderful. So... I'm gonna have to protect it, I think. I'm gonna have to use this. That means you're gonna be able to destroy two of my cards this turn. Hmm. That's gonna destroy the normal Blue Eyes White Dragon with the effect. Now you're going to be able to attack the Dragon Spirit of White, yep. Well, unless I do Mirror Force, but I was thinking of, uh, I mean, I may want to do it because... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Because I have to get rid of your board presence right now. Like, even this deck is actually kind of struggling. I've used up all my resources just for one turn. And... The thing is, I don't actually think that I can... One, two, three, no, 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 I can do it, I can do it. Okay, thank god. That came close though, holy shit. Okay, um... 
Let's look at the special summon this thing. Reveal the blue eyes. Put it on the board. Okay, um, we are gonna set this again, which is good. Thank God for this card. Okay, so we're gonna use the effect of Blue Eyes Alternative to destroy that. Then I think that should be game though. I don't think you have anything in your hand or graver that can stop this, but you really got me to use a lot of resources there. That was a little crazy. My god, man. Yeah, that duel is... I don't know how I'm going to do that one, but that's another duel i got to do off screen now. The loner one. <laughs> Jeez. So that's two. Yeah, both of those. I, would, I wasn't able to beat any of the Digital Bugs ones. They're just getting insanely difficult. And then if I have the, yep, the Shiranui one. Moving on to Dino Mist. Oh, great. Freaking Dino Mist. Well... Here we go. Gonna pay that. Open it. And yep, we're gonna do loner. Okay. That was actually a much longer loading screen than usual. All right. Can you please stop letting me making me go first? I do not want to go first. Oh my god. If you have three or more of its uh, pendulum monsters with different names in your extra deck, draw two cards. The hell? Okay. Um So I only have two monsters. Are you kidding me? I mean, I can't I can't pendulum summon anything. Seriously? Um, except Teller Knight and Zephra. Okay, but I don't have any cards. This is not from your deck, and if you do, it is unaffected by the card effects, also destroyed during the end phase. Suppose I'm in one face of Pendulum Monster from your extra deck, or one Pendulum Monster from your graveyard. Um. That's a, if this card is Pendulum Summon, you can send one. What the hell do I even do here? If I activate those, that's going to do nothing. Um, I think I'm actually... I think I bricked. Oh my god. Really? I'm pretty sure I bricked, because there's nothing I can do. But that's why I want to go second, because I want to play to the opponent, and I also want to draw the extra card. I don't think I want to activate Dynamis Rush here. It isn't going to do anything. Yeah, now, doing that, let's see what I draw here. I think I'm stuck, though. Another trap card. Man. I mean, what the hell is this going to do? That's not going to do anything. But I, I got to go for it. I got to do it. I mean, what am I going to do? My hand is terrible. Uh, just bring the biggest beats to okay but this is the inherent problem with this because it's why did you see how many dynamis cards I'm running in this deck why would they give you Shadal and Ze or not Ze Zephyr I mean like I know that Zephyr is an archetype that works with a lot of other archetypes like this one's with Teller Knights and this one's with Shadals but what good does it do for me to activate the scales if I'm going to want to summon Dynamis? Neither of these cards let me actually summon Dynamis cards. What the fuck kind of synergy is this? This is actually a really terrible deck. Like, all I can do, and this really sucks, is swing in for an attack. That's literally all I can do. If it gets destroyed, whatever. Okay, whatever. So this card has the, um... Oh no, that's fine. Uh, put your hand. Okay, so you didn't do that. If you do immediately, you know, synchro. I actually wasn't sure if you were going to use the effect. Okay. Howling at least is a good card, from my understanding. Well, I should stop setting cards in the back row with you, because I don't know if people start running infinite impermanence. 
When this card's activity, you can place one or two Dynamics Pendulum Monsters from your deck to your Pendulum Zone, but you cannot Pendulum Summon Monsters until the end of the next turn, except Dynamics Monsters. Hmm, that actually sucks, because, well, I mean, for now. So if that's except Dynamics Monsters. Once Patron is card is already face up in your spawn trap field, you can tribute one Dynamics Monster, target one card, one controls, return to the hand. Um, I mean, I guess we'll do this. So, yes. I'm gonna bring out, I, will, I need to bring out the different scales, which would be a, would be a three. What does this do? I'll bring this one. Once per, you're gonna get the uh, targets of title myth. Let's go that again. We're gonna put both of these. Sure. We'll see what happens here because the cards in my hand are actually dead. Um, that's fine. I have to take a hit here, I think. Okay, so let's see what I can do. We're gonna draw Zephyr Pro. What the hell does this do? Add one Zephyr card from your hand, deck to your hand, except the providence of Zephyr card you control would be destroyed. Um, would it be destroyed except this turn, except the turn is card, or you can buy this card right instead. Okay, so it gets protection. So obviously, I want to use this to add something. What am I gonna even even bring out? Um, what the hell? Okay, that's kind of crazy. If it's normal, you can turn one of the out of your monster zone, um, and once that card can destroy them. Okay, I wouldn't really do anything right now. So remember, I can't pendulum summon any of this right now because of the Dynamis howling. I can only pendulum summon the one in my extra deck. This card, you can add one face up Zephyr Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Uh, I don't want to do anything either. I don't think I really have a play here, if I'm being honest. That's for Necros, so I'm just going to bring out um, this one. I suppose, sure. I don't know. Alright, so now what we can do here is we can go ahead and do a Pendulum Summon by bringing out this one to the extra monster zone, the only option that we have. Okay, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do a normal summon here and summon this thing. So this one, target one of your banished non-tutor monsters. Oh wait, sorry, I thought it, what was the other one? Oh, I see. One of your banished non-tutor monsters, special. Okay, so that's not going to do anything. I actually can't believe we're we might be able to do so. We can get through this battle phase. We're actually really close. Oh my god, this one runs heavy metal foes. I should have actually done that shit, dude. This card is actually crazy. It's actually banned um, for good reason. You can add one monster to your deck to your, uh, ex deck to your extra deck. Okay, so once per turn you can target one other face of card you control, destroy it. Then add one face of pencil monster from your extra deck to your hand of a card in your pencil room. Okay. Should I go for that on the main phase too? It actually might be a good idea to do it, I don't know. Okay, so this is a quick effect. Um, you can tribute one dynamic monster and target one card putting controls return to the hand. We're not gonna do that. Is this gonna actually work? Oh my god, it's actually gonna work. Jesus, but I cannot believe this. I can't believe I'm actually making progress here. Um, if I go for this, I'll be able to send another one over because I think I want to do that for this. I've got three or more. You cannot add cards from the deck to your hand for the rest of this turn after this card resolves. Um, I guess there's no shame in doing this. Okay, so both of those are going to get sent. We're going to bring out Heavy Metal Plus Electromite. Oh, 
Okay. We're gonna use the effect. So the first effect, this thing has three effects. The first one, add a pendulum monster from your deck to your extra deck face up. Okay. So what we're gonna do is bring, I think this one. Okay. The next one you can do, uh, once per turn you can target one other face of card you control, destroy it, then add one face of pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. So basically I would switch. I don't really need to do that though, but if, if a card in oh, no, I actually do. Because I can use, yep, yeah, that last one. So here's what we basically do here. I have a three and a six, so I think the one that I want to do, I would pop the three. Okay, so to pop the scale of three, we're gonna use this. Pop that one. Say no to that. Um, once you're gonna negate activated card that targets the destroy now. Okay. Then we're going to place. I mean, I could just technically place the same freaking thing. They're all the same. We're gonna do that. Then I get to draw a card. There we go. Oh, and now we get to do this one. Okay. Well, that's a hard one per turn, so that's whatever. Now what we can do here is we can actually go ahead and activate this one. We can P-scale it. And say no to that. Then we can activate this to draw two. Oh my god, okay. And I think we're just about done here with this. Sure. I think. I'm pretty sure I did that right. It seems like I did it right. This is why Electromite is freaking crazy, but... Wow. He could very well attack over me, but I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do here if he actually does that. Okay, so he brought... How the hell did you bring this thing in? Oh, I see. Got it, got it, okay, yep. We are gonna have to lose Electromine, unfortunately, but there's not a whole lot we can do with that. Nor that. We'll take two and then we're gonna... Should I just do this? I don't think I should do that, no. I don't believe that's smart. Okay. So, it'd be nice if I could actually get rid of a freaking back row card so I can do something, but... So I have three and a six. Now I can actually pendulum summon these other cards, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want to look at this one here. Okay, I see. So what we're going to do... We're going to activate this to add... Let's bring a... No, I don't think I need a... What would this one do? Can you reach something using a left monster? Special summon. Okay, add another card. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna bring this card in. Gonna activate this. And then add this one. Okay. I think it's time for a Pendulum Summon, where our hand is stacked here. Yeah, I think that actually would be the way to do it, I, I believe so. Pretty sure we got this, because what I can do is do the Pendulum. Okay, so from your extra deck, I, I'm gonna pick... I think this one. And then from the hand, we're gonna do one, two, three. Alright, so this one's going to go and face up attack right here. This one's going to go and face up defense right here. This one will go and face up attack here. And then this one will go in... So I'm going to put it in face up attack because I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do here. We're going to put it over here on the right. Okay. Uh, I get an optional effect at... Uh, you can target one of your Talon or Zephyr Cardian Monster Zone or Pendulum Zone and one piece of card opponent controls destroy them. 
So the other Zephyr card... I'll just get rid of this one if I do that. And one base of card your opponent controls. I think I'll be able to do it... Um, sure, Let, let's, let's see what I can do here. So we're going to send that one. I'm going to read this here. Another dynamis card you control. You control, okay. Just making sure that the protect, that the protection is not both ways. Uh, we're not going to do that, no. This effect said, okay, I have to be, be able to read this. It would be destroyed except this turn. Uh, this card right now. Yes, we'll do that. Okay, just want to make sure it doesn't negate the effect, which it doesn't. The next thing we're going to want to do here is we're going to... I actually wouldn't be able to get rid of both cards, I don't think, because... Oh, no, actually, yes, I would. I'm going to do this. Tribute to Dino Mitzvah, speed control, and target one card opponent controls, return it to the hand. So what I can do is activate this. Yes, I think, I think so. I'm going to do this. Um, before I do that, my hand by has. Oh god, that could actually be a really big. What the hell? That's fine. That that's okay. I don't really care if I'm being honest. Okay, that's okay. Uh, then we're gonna go over here. We're going to go into. We're gonna do Nightmare Phoenix here. We're gonna choose this one. And this one, what a long turn, huh? We're going to put Nightmare Phoenix here. We are going to use the effect to discard Zephyr Providence. Can't use it this turn anyway. To pop a card. That'd be that. Okay. Then we can go ahead and do a normal summon of you. And then the effect of this one, you can add one base of Zephyr monster from your extra deck to your hand. I don't actually think I want to do that. No, we're not going to do it because I got a plan. So if we just swing in for an attack that should be game. I also have this. Suppose I'm one base of Pencil monster from your extra deck or one Pencil monster from your graveyard. Oh, well, you actually have to bring it over. Okay, so I think it's fine. We'll go like that. Okay. Let's see if this works. Are you going to use the effect? You are not. Okay, that's what I was afraid of if you actually were going to do it, but you didn't do it. And there we go. This deck was okay. Um, it definitely can break very heavily because it's using way too many archetypes. Like, wow. But I think you have to not scale the non Dino Mist, because I think you have to scale Dino Mist specifically if you want to win. I'm pretty sure. There we go. All right. Ooh, this is, um... I don't this charge is actually pretty good. Oh my god, it's the Death Spots. Holy crap. Death Spots versus Dino Mist? Great. Okay. You gotta read this thing. Gain 500 attack resistance for each machine monster you control. If two or more machine monsters special summon at the same time while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. I gotta be careful with that because the freaking pendulum summoning could ruin everything. Okay. Um, so let's see. This thing. When this card is activated, add one Dino Mist monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn. If a Dino Mist card is added from the field to your extra deck, base up, add one of those cards to your hand. We're doing this. Okay, so we're going to bring out... I think if I just bring out a... Because let's see what I have here. That's a six. That's a three. I'm going to put a pendulum summon. Get some pretty tolerable protection, I suppose. And really try to make it nice. Okay. Crazy attack here. So if we bring out, let's say... We could even bring out this one, because if that's a 6 and a 3, then it actually would work out if we bring out 
that. Um, sure, we'll, we'll go with this one. Let's see if I'm doing this right. I'm actually going to one for one the Harpies, with the Harpy's Feather Duster, just to make sure here. What the freaking hell? Wait, I guess it's during the end phase, right? I'm pretty sure it does. That's okay. I mean, it's a continuous spell, so I didn't waste it. Um, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. That's that's a, that's a different one. I don't know why I said so I meant trap, but no, no, that's a different one. But yeah, I guess it's during the end phase, so it's not really a problem. Um, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to activate, because I want to bring out the 2500 one. Okay. So we're going to P scale this one. And we're going to P scale this one, making sure I got this right. Okay. Got it. Now we're going to Pendulum Summon. I'm going to bring out this one. Put you right over here. Uh, let's see, so I can only activate one of those per turn, and what is this one? You can drag one fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster in your girl with an equal or lower level than the number of cards in your opponent's hand. Special summon it. But it can only activate this turn, you hard ones per turn. If it's into the graveyard of synchro material, you can make the synchro monster that uses cards material gain 200 attack. That's interesting, okay. Um, because I can still summon it if I want to. But, what the hell? There are some ace here. You can destroy all your opponent's attack with your monsters. This one can make up to... That's one water tuner plus one... Plus non-tuners. Uh, this card attacks on like piercing. If you discard, you control this card by opponent's card. You can banish one other water monster from your graveyard. Special summon this card. And if you do, it is treated as a tuner. Let's see if I can actually... Because this is another... Yeah, it's another water. So this would actually work. Like I can go into, yeah, I can go into this thing, which is crazy, because this thing can actually destroy all of them. That's a really good synchro monster. It's just specific in its materials, which is why it doesn't see any play, but, yeah. Okay, so with this, so, yeah, you can destroy all monsters. Yeah, we're going to do that one, but this one, let me just read it one more time. Um, if you to the you can make that single monster that uses card gain 200 attack for each card currently in your opponent's hand. Okay, so we're gonna do this plus this. Okay, so it gains attack, blows up all your freaking monsters. Okay, and wait a minute, actually, oh yeah, that's right, it can't be destroyed, oh shit, whatever, that's fine, that's okay. Um, and then I think that's actually about it, so this one's going to come back to the hand, which is nice. It's better to have them in the hand than the, at the top of the extra deck, because if they're in the top of the extra deck, they can only be summoned into the extra monster zone, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, with this, we're just going to enter battle. This card's good. So it has that effect, to make up the two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. It has piercing, and if, it, and if it's destroyed by battle or card effect by your opponent and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one other water monster from your graveyard. Special summon this card, and if you do, it is treated as a tuner. That's, that's pretty freaking good, man. Seriously. Okay, we're gonna attack you. Okay, and that's actually all we can do. We're going to end the turn. All right, let's see what you're going to do here. What are you going to do? You're going to do something crazy? Oh no, you're scaling up. That's actually not good. Okay, here they come. So you're bringing out the one from Old Man. Are you serious? Okay, well that thing can attack directly if you tribute another card, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, you freaking piece of shit. Okay, well. I am actually dead. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure. 
Because that's going to do... Yeah, no, I'm actually completely dead. Because you actually had a freaking card. Unbelievable. Dude, I had this freaking duel on the bag. I had to do one. You had to have stupid limiter removal on this exact card. Are you kidding me, man? Oh my god, that is so frustrating. That is actually really frustrating. Um, I'm gonna have to put this thing into defense. Uh, well, I mean, I can still make a comeback next turn. I definitely have to put you into defense mode here. Those things don't have piercing, right? I don't think they do. No, because you have to tribute during the main phase, so that's fine. So I'll take 5,000 here, I think, so I'll survive with 24. Then they all get destroyed. Oh no, that's what I thought you were going to do, you stupid piece of shit. Freaking piece of garbage. Oh my god, yep. I mean, hey, I know how, card, how good that card is, that's why I won the last duel. All right, here we go. Foolish Burial, what the hell is this gonna do? I have no idea, no clue at all. Um, actually, what would what, what I wanna do here? I have no clue. Um, I mean, I, hmm. This wouldn't actually, in the graveyard, Uh, what is this? Okay, uh, most Pedrillion is added from the field to the extra deck face up. Like, I guess you want these in the graveyard to give some more protection to it, but like, these don't really have graveyard effects. So like, I don't know what the point of sending those would be. I should probably send one of these then. From your hand, if this card puts something on the grave, you can trade as a tuner. And your grave can be equal or lower level than the number of cards in your opponent's hand. I actually don't even know. I don't know what the best thing would be, to be honest. Okay, we'll do that. We're gonna activate this because we need another search here if we want to make any kind of progress. Um. Let's see here. I'm trying to see. Shuffle one card from your opponent's hand. Or they're decided to fill into the deck. This card gains. Okay, hold on. I need to see something. If this card attacks at the end of the damage step, you can tribute one of your dynamics monster and activate one of its effects. This card can attack an opponent's monster again in a row. No. Shuffle one card from your opponent's hand. Or they're decided to fill into the deck. This card gains 100 attack. Okay, we're going to do this one then. Because that's a, that's a 5. My skills are 3 and... Yeah, so we're going to do... This one, okay, then we're going to go here, do a summon of both of these. There's a reason why I need this effect. I need the effect, like, really badly, and you'll see why. We're going to summon both of these. Okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, that, that's okay. Alright, we're going to enter battle here. So, this card attacks at the end of the damage step. No, we are going to attack with you first. And just make sure here. I have to make sure I read everything because if I ruin, if I mess this up, Link Summon once per turn. This card is a. This card, if a card in your pendulums. Okay, no. We're going to attack this one for sure. Okay, so that thing's gone. Now we're going to attack you. And now we're going to use the effect of Rex. You can tribute one of their Dynamite's monster. I'm going to shuffle. Yep, that's exactly what I want to do. Let's tribute this one. It's going to go to the top of the extra deck. And then we're going to send in... If another Dynamite's card you control will be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. You can destroy this card instead. Once with this card, you can negate the inactivated... Effect that targets their dynamics card you control, then destroy that target. Oh my god, wait, that's not gonna work. Shit. Shit. It targets, doesn't it? 
Actually, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. Oh my god, it, it does not target. It does not target. I actually thought the effect targeted, but it doesn't. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh my god, if that, if that effect targeted, holy crap. I would have actually lost the duel right there, I think. Because you would have kept both pendulum skills and my monster would have died. Thank god it does not target. Okay. And that's the end of the turn right there. So I had to do that because I had to ensure that I get rid of your scale. If you kept your scale, you could come back from the top of the extra deck with a summon and you could pull some shenanigans. But I think we're good like this. What are you doing? I can't believe this. Make a second attack during each battle. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What the hell? If another diamond is card, you can destroy a battle or opponent's card, you can destroy this card instead. So I want to destroy this instead to keep it. I think. Sure. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Got it. And then we're going to... Okay, we have to use both. It's mandatory, so we have to select both. What is that going to accomplish, though? Because I have Dino Mischarge and you don't, so that's giving me the advantage. I will say, though, it is completely bullshit that this guy just topped that Dino Mist with a specific scale that he needed. You're telling me that if I targeted the other one, he would have topped that same card? There's no way. There's no way. That's that's what you call right there some rigged bullshit. Seriously. Um, okay, so I put it. So I have to put the three. I would have to put this one here. I don't think I can win this turn, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I don't think so. There's like no way because I can piece skill this. Then I can. There's no way. Let's go to one more. I can only activate. Let's go to some. You can try it as a tuner this turn. Um. So I'm actually only gonna pendulum skill for one. Because if I do both, that's going to be a huge problem for me. We have to summon you. And we're gonna normal summon the other one. It's very smart to work around that stupid death spot in the graveyard. Um, then we can normal summon you. Okay, so we have a four. We can make a nine? Or what, what do we actually have? We do have this one. You can um, add one from your deck to your um, extra deck face up. Once per turn, you can target one other face up card you control, destroy, then add one face up. So, if I do that. I'm just trying to think about what would be the best case scenario here. What I would want to do. I don't think I actually want to go into that, no. Because I think the better plan actually would be to do... Yeah, I know what to do. Do that. I survive, I use this effect, I use the other effect, sorry this is taking forever I know, these freaking duels are so insanely long. Okay, add the card back, and I get to use the effect of Rex, now, okay, now you're finally gone. Oh actually, wait no, it's if it battles, I actually don't know if that would have worked that way, but... No, if I attack with the other one first, and protect that one, then I attack with this one. That still counts as if it battles, right? At the, at the end of the damage step. I'm actually not sure on the ruling on that. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. The point is you have nothing now, so... Now we can go into main phase 2. Um, we could actually special... 
Nah, I don't want to do that. I don't think that's actually worth doing it, if I'm being honest. We're going to peace scale this again to get more protection. And we're going to end the turn here. Come on, oh my god, I, I, I can't believe I'm actually still 5,000 life points. Thank god, finally, the duel is over. Jesus Christ. I thought somebody was going to draw a card and then draw two peace scales or something. Knowing the stupid AI that pissed me off. <clears throat> okay. We're just going to summon this thing and that's it, right? That's 3,000 plus the 20. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Just don't even, get, don't even get fancy here anymore, you know? Uh, no, we don't need to do that. It's fine. Alright. We did it. The Dino Mist decks were definitely a lot better. The first one was very questionable because it has some stupid Zephra Teller Knight thing on there. I don't, I don't even know what was going on, but... Okay. So... Yep, there we go. So we did, wow, both of those. Um, we'll be doing those, of course, in the next video. We're making progress slowly but surely. We just, wow, taking a long time. But yeah, we're going to do two of those and then that one. So in between episodes. So before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you enjoyed the video, I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.